Let's do this. Now, back to Canton's Morning News. I like it. On News Talk 1480 WHBC. We're going to talk aging and quick aging, if you will. Yeah, I guess there are reasons why some people age faster than others. And a new study out says that is absolutely true. On our WHBC Newsline right now, we bring in Dr. Stephen Weininger, anti-aging expert. Good morning, sir. Good morning. All right, so why is it that some people age faster than others? Are there environmental things, or is this something that we can change? Well, this is the big question, because there's three different parts of, of, what, of how people's bodies are. Your DNA, you can't do anything about. The damage that's happened to your body because of what you've done, you can't do anything about. The only thing that's actionable are your daily habits. And when, when you look at daily habits, it comes back to the same message that we've heard from a lot of different studies in the past couple of years. The number one thing that you can do to age better is start exercising consistently. It doesn't have to be a lot, but you need to get your body moving on a regular basis. Um, something else that doesn't get as much attention as it should is being happy in life. I'm um, having a good attitude, having work you enjoy, family you enjoy, creating a life that you enjoy doing the things that you do, um, avoiding things that are stupid things to do, like like smoking cigarettes and and not getting enough sleep and spending too much time with your body folded sitting, um, living, living a life intelligently rather than doing foolish things to make yourself literally old before your time. Uh, yeah, we're almost stunned by all this because I, I, I guess it, it, most of this is very logical. I mean, we've been told this before. And the thing about this study, it puts all the, these other studies into perspective because the other studies that have been done have found correlation between people that smoke and people that develop different diseases and people that die sooner. But it's not just dying sooner. It's how well you're living. It's literally how fast you're getting old. Because one of, these, one of the things that happened with this study they found that most people were aging about 12 months every year. But some people aged literally 36 months in the course of the year. They were becoming old far more quickly. And the, the significance is that it's not just uh, get, when, you, when you get to be old, then these things happen. It's they're happening all the way through life. The question is how quickly are they happening? And what they hope is that by measuring it, uh, they'll be able to give people ideas of, what they should be doing to age better. My bet is that it's going to come back to the same thing we've been hearing. We want to have intelligent life habits. All right, so if you were a smoker or if you didn't get enough sleep because of maybe your job, those kinds of things, and you've suffered from some aging, is there any way to reverse that, or is there any way to slow it down or make it better? You can always make it better. The, 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 the thing that we see when we talk to people is they want to go back and change the past. They can't, but you can change today and tomorrow. So the studies about smoking uh, have, have shown that if you stop smoking for, I believe it was 15 years, then your risk goes back to the way it was if you never had smoked. <clears throat> can you make that happen in one day? No, it takes time. But the sooner you start, the sooner you'll be at that point. And it doesn't start at the magical 15 years. It's a progressive thing. Your habits every day determine how, how your, the accumulation of those habits will affect your DNA and the, and the damage that has happened over the course of your life. Because no one's body is perfect. You want to do the best you can do. So get up, take a walk, uh, do something fun with somebody else that you enjoy being with, uh, drink, a, drink a lot of work, put on sunscreen. Um, and it's not, not one thing. It's maintaining a balance of all of these things. All right. Well, we appreciate all the tips, and hopefully Gary and I will get some sleep. (laughs) That's what we need as morning radio people, that's for sure. We appreciate your time this morning, Dr. Stephen Weininger. Pam Cook and Gary Rivers. Canton's Morning News. News Talk 1480, WHBC, and at whbc.com.